cause of death released for Gabby Petito. Death by strangulation. And details on how long she was dead before authorities found her. Miami's mayor facing the cameras. Incompatible with the structure of our city's government. After his choice for chief gets suspended. And crane collapse. Some of it has affected the power lines even behind us. Sending Central Florida emergency crews scrambling. These stories and more coming up on Newsbreak. Happy Wednesday morning, South Florida. I'm Christopher Gomez, finally in the middle of the week, trucking up through Florida. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it, Lali Salache. Today is Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. From the South Florida Media Network's Biscayne Bay Studios in North Miami, this is SFMN Newsbreak. Cause and concern as autopsy results are released for Gabby Petito. The results are troubling. Not only the cause of death, but also just how much time had passed between when she died and when she was discovered. The network's Abdul Jabour is in the control center with what we have learned. Gabby Petito, the 22-year-old woman found dead in a Wyoming National Park a month ago, died by a strangulation. Her death was declared by homicide by the Wyoming coroner. Caused death by strangulation and manner uh, is homicide. The Teton County coroner finally publishing the autopsy results of 22 years old Gabby Petito. The coroner first determined the death of Petito as a murder, but the cause of her death had not been announced. Dr. Blue says he has been restricted in what he revealed from his report. Determined by law enforcement. This autopsy uh, included a whole body CAT scan. Uh, a, a examination by a forensic uh, pathologist, uh, anthropologist. So uh, it was we pretty much covered all the bases. The coroner will just say that the official autopsy report shows that the body was out in the wilderness before the remains were examined. Time of death, uh, we are estimating three to four weeks from the time that uh, the body was found. After an extensive search, Petito's remains were found on September 19 in Wyoming, Bridger Teton National Forest. She was first reported missing by her parents on September 11, over a month ago. Petito spent the summer traveling across the country in a band with fiancé Brian Laundry, documenting their adventures on social media. The couple was stopped by Moab police during their trip to Utah in mid-August after a 911 caller told dispatchers he saw a man hitting a woman. Now, a month later, the police still don't know where Laundry is. Investigators continue to search for Brian Laundry, Petito's fiancé who disappeared after he became a person of interest. In the control center, Abdul Jabbour, South Florida Media Network. The mayor of Miami is speaking out after the city's police chief was suspended Monday night. The city manager said the relationship between Chief Art Acevedo and other city leaders has deteriorated to the point that is now untenable. They are now looking to replace him. Mayor Francis Suarez supported the decision to replace Acevedo while talking to the public yesterday. Well, it is clear that Chief Acevedo has the qualifications and the experience to be an effective chief of police. It is also obvious that his personality and leadership style are incompatible with the structure of our city's government. Chief Acevedo held the position for only six months before his suspension. His suspension comes after he appeared to support a COVID-19 vaccination mandate for officers, a direct conflict with Governor Ron DeSantis. Acevedo has also apologized after saying the Cuban Mafia runs the Miami Police Department during a meeting with staff. Assistant Police Chief Manny Morales has been appointed interim chief until the city names a permanent replacement. And speaking of Chiefs, Chiefs Acting Chief Manny Morales fulfilled one of the first of his duties by hosting a young fire victim in his dream to be police chief for a day. The five-year-old boy T.J. Mack, his mother, and his grandmother were victims of a house fire. T.J. and his mother suffered from severe injuries while his mother unfortunately died from her wounds. The boy just recently released from the hospital. He loves helicopters, he loves cars, he, he loves policemen, he loves firemen. He loves it all. It brings joy to my heart because just watching him every day, knowing that his mom's not here, trust me, it, it hurts. In the wake of Acevedo's suspension, MPD gave the opportunity to this young boy, and it looks like he enjoyed it. Broward County Schools interim superintendent will have to keep the title of interim for at least now. Yesterday, the Broward County School Board voted 6-3 against appointing Vicki Cartwright as the permanent superintendent. Cartwright began her in 
her term as interim superintendent August mid amid her predecessor's dismissal. Although her hiring agreement bars her from applying to the role permanently, some school board members like Nora Rupert and Rosalind Osgood hope to change that. A big cleanup job this morning after a crane collapse on a hospital. It was yesterday morning at the Advent Health Garage in Orlando. The machinery used to lift concrete from the ground collapsed on a parking garage that was under construction. So as you can see, some of it has affected the, the power lines even behind us. So we had OUC come out to respond to make sure that all that has been secured. I know that there are outages along the street. I'm not sure the extent. Thankfully, few people were injured. Officials shared that one has traumatic injuries, but is now stable. The actor who played Captain Kirk on TV is just minutes from blasting off into space for real. That's still ahead and so's this story. I always wanted to call myself a Jeopardy champion. One of the most iconic Jeopardy champions has his final, final Jeopardy. News break. We'll be back in two minutes. Don't go away. Severe weather can strike anytime, anywhere, but there's a simple way to stay safe. Hey, Jim Cantori here. I stay safe in dangerous weather by planning ahead. You can stay safe too with a few easy steps. Build an inexpensive kit with supplies for your family's needs. Write down important information like phone numbers and medications. Always talk with your family and remember any pets in your planning. Be ready, be safe, start your plan today at ready.gov plan. Whether it be sports, music, or art, we're all good at different things. But when it comes to texting and driving, no one's good at that. When times get dark, we can't see the help that's all around us. Let 211 be your guiding light for help with food, health care, and other resources. 211, how can I help you? Call 211 or visit 211.org. 211, get connected, get help. a risk always but at 90 he's done it all why not you know uh, good for him I thought it was really really cool that somebody from Star Trek was actually going to be going out into space I'm just a little bit worried I hope he doesn't get hurt William Shatner will later this morning blast off with the Blue Origin rocket Captain Kirk himself William Shatner is set to head to space this morning the Star Trek actor and three other people will lift off in Blue Origin rocket. Unless there's another delay, the new Shepard NS-18 flight will lift off from a remote area off West Texas in about 20 minutes. The flight was originally supposed to happen Monday, but was delayed because of high winds. Jeopardy! champ Matt Amodio's epic winning streak ends at 38 games, plus one and a half million dollars. During his time on top of the leaderboard, Amodio racked up 1,299 correct clues, taking him straight to the top. Oh, it, it was just so great. Uh, I always wanted to call myself a Jeopardy! champion, and I got a really long time where I was able to do that. So it was just so much fun. Omodio shares that so much of the game is luck. As for the money, he says to, he has plans to save it and leave it for later use. What a run. That's all the time we have for News Break. I'm Zitlali Solache. And I'm Christopher Gomez. Get more news anytime at sfmn.fiu.edu. Make sure you take care of yourselves and each other.